We are Ohio University Senior Design Team 8 and welcome to the People's Standard product demonstration video. The People's Standard features a wooden A-frame support design which holds the patient bed and footplate assembly. The patient bed can be fully rotated from fully vertical to a 45 degree angle using the bed adjustment strap designed to hold the patient in a prone position. The footplate assembly has slots to give the frame 12 degrees of height adjustability with hitch pins holding it in place. The stander also features an activity tray for patients to use and casters to make the frame mobile. To begin using the stander, the footplate must be adjusted to the patient's height. Begin by getting a general measurement of the patient's inseam, measuring from their feet to their groin. Using the patient's inseam measurement, use the inseam numbers on the footplate assembly to select the corresponding slots. To adjust the footplate assembly, pull the cotter pins to remove the hitch pins from the patient bed. Using the inseam height labels, slide the footplate to the corresponding inseam height, taking care to align the labels for easy pin insertion. Reinsert the hitch pins through the patient bed and footplate and secure with the cotter pins. The next step is to adjust the heel cups on the footplate. Move the heel cups to the proper holes and slide the hitch pins through, securing the hitch pins with the cotter pins. We are now ready to move the patient bed subassembly to the prone position for the patient to be placed in the stander. Pull the patient bed into the prone position with the pull rope and secure it in place by tightening the adjustment strap. Next up is opening the straps for the patient support bed. To undo the straps, simply pull the black cinch strap back and pull the straps through the pads to prepare for the patient to be placed in the standing frame. Once making sure that the caster wheels are locked, a patient is now ready to be placed inside the stander. Once lifting the patient into the bed, strap the patient in beginning with the top restraint strap. Make sure to test each strap to ensure that it is cinched in place but not too tight in the patient. Depending on the patient, utilize one or both of the lower leg restraint straps. Next, wrap the straps around the ankle and pull tight with the cinch strap so that the heels of the patient contact the V of the heel cup. Depending on the strength and involvedness of the patient, the bed can be adjusted to varying degrees of load bearing on the patient's legs. To adjust the angle of the patient bed, keep tension on the pull rope while slowly pulling up on the cinch strap. Lower the pull rope until the patient is at the desired location and then release the cinch strap. With the patient properly secured, the frame is now ready to be moved. To move the standing frame, disengage the brakes on the front two casters by pushing down on the off side of the brake lever. When the patient is ready to be removed from the stander, it is recommended to move the patient bed back to the prone position. In the same fashion as before, use the pull rope to move the bed and tighten the bed in place by pulling the adjustment strap taut. Once the bed is in the prone position, the patient can now be removed from the stander. Beginning with the heel straps, remove the straps from the feet up while making sure that the patient is supported until all the straps have been removed. For storage of the stander, it is recommended to loosely fasten the restraint straps. You are now ready to use the People's Stander. Thanks for watching.